What's good, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Dark Paradigm, Send Lewd Parchments, seriously, Sebastian Sonic 12 and 11, Texan Sasquatch, Dante 151, Mariposa, Christine Philogene, Le Bluinator, Caramelized Boy, Craig Ellington, Graffiti Turtle, Jenny, Travis Tennant, Viper King 15, Texan Sasquatch, A, hey, and Noah Strike. And I would also like to especially thank our executive producers, Joshua Fix, The Gimster 101, and Bevan Brunner. Thank you all very much for your support. If you want to become a YouTube member, click the join button, which is down by the subscribe button down below. And if you want to become a Patreon supporter, click the link in the description to find out more. We'll see you there. This one I'm probably even more stoked about than the first two we just watched. <laughs> I can understand. I remembered in Infinity War, the very beginning, no more resurrections this time. And right after he crushed Loki's throat. Mm -hmm. That, I, I remembered in the, hearing in the theater, the amount of exacerbated, like, like just a whole, like, the they gasps. couldn't believe, that like, yeah. gasps, <laughs> that... Loki was was dead. That that completely like derailed a lot of people. Just like holy shit, this is like like legit, and it's not Loki revealing himself on the other side of you know like with his magic or anything like that. No, Thanos literally crushed his fucking throat. And then of course now, uh, in terms of different time continuums. We're, it seems we're going to be following the one that we ran into in Endgame when Loki got his hands on the uh, Tesseract again. Because if you remember in Endgame, like the Tesseract came out of the case, he picked it up and then all of a sudden he was gone. Just teleported somewhere else. Which, I mean, I knew that was going to lead somewhere. In which, if it leads to this series, I mean, holy hell. I, I, I'm all about it. <laughs> see, he's walking into Stark Industries. I wonder. I think that's what this is. I really do because because I think that's Thor in front of him, and I think and that's Tony from the looks of it. But I remembered. I, I remember. I remember that very vividly, and I think that's where they're going to go with it. And I think they're going to follow that Loki's continuum because the Loki we know in our in our like Infinity War continuum is gone, but the Loki in this one is somewhere else entirely. Yeah. In which Tom Hiddleston, I remember early on, Tom Hiddleston was the reason why a lot of people loved the Marvel Cinematic Universe, specifically because he was the only good villain for so long. Mm -hmm. Because when he was introduced in Thor, he was the first one that people really stuck with because they really connected with him because he was a child that really didn't belong anywhere. I mean, he was a, he was a frost giant. His father... His father, Odin, took him as sort of like a prisoner. Sort of like how uh, Theon Greyjoy was in a, in a Game of Thrones. And Odin attempted to raise Loki as his own, but Loki rebelled. And Loki, you know, because of his rage, couldn't let that go. And I think that's why a lot he was a Shakespearean-style villain. And that's why people gravitated towards him. And Tom Hiddleston, being Tom Hiddleston, or he just knocked it out of the park. And every time Loki appeared after that, people cheered because they knew, hey, we got a good villain here. And yeah. then eventually he formed into an anti-hero, especially when so you he get... Got more and more likable the more he showed it up. Yeah. So. And then and then uh, when Marvel got better and better at writing villains, you know, we got later on, we got Killmonger, we got uh, friggin' Thanos, we got... Uh, uh, E, uh, not Ego, uh, what's his name? Uh, Kurt Russell from friggin' uh, Guardians 2. Yeah, I don't remember what his name uh, was. Ego, I believe, I believe yeah, is his name. sounds right. Because uh, I know they originally was going to make him Jason of Spartax, but then, you know, they made him Ego. Uh, and then uh, there's multiple Marvel villains that have come along later on that are much, much better than what we got in the original stock. And now we're going back to the OG villain who, you know, everyone related with and liked. And he's getting his own Disney Plus series. And I'm interested to see where the hell this is going to go. So, shall we? Yep. 
<laughs> yep. It's I just knew such it. a good scene like the Yeah. The freaking thing on his mouth and he's just like, hmm, boof. <laughs> uh, hello there. You're taking me somewhere to kill me. No, I'm taking you someplace to talk. Luke Where Wilson? I don't like to talk. Wow. But you do like to lie, which you just did. Because we both know you love to talk. Talky, talky. How long have you been here? I don't know, it's hard to say. You know, time passes differently here in the TVA. What does that mean? You'll catch up. Glorious. Wait. That looks absolutely insane. I am interested to know <laughs> how, like it looks like it's pretty much just going to be Loki going all around the uh like the universe causing mayhem. And or him getting into it. I, like. Well, yeah. I I don't know what the hell he's going to do. I a whole bunch of stuff, but it looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe every episode's going to be pretty much Loki in a different thing cuz the TVA, where have I heard that before? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let me, let me, let me, let's Google. Let's see. TVA. Loki. Time Variant. Oh, Time Variance Authority. Okay, okay. Mm. Uh, okay, so the Time Variance Authority uh, is basically, damn, Group that, of timeline monitors. Yeah. So yeah, I would say they're about to have like quite the role after all the shit they did in in game, you know. I wouldn't doubt it because let's be honest here, this is like this is basically they monitor like all of the like everything. They're like almost like the overseers. Yeah, because like who was it that was explaining like how time travel would work differently than in media and stuff as it was usually portrayed. So I can't remember what character was saying that. Was it Ant-Man? I think... Or was it uh, the Hulk? I, I think it was Hulk, because Hulk was the one that said, like, you cannot change the past. You can only go back and you can, you can pretty much... So he was trying to like, explain it as, like, it didn't make a bunch of different branching timelines whenever they went back and did that, like they thought it would, and... Yes. Like, it would just, you have to return it to that timeline, it wouldn't really make a difference any, either way, you couldn't fuck up the timelines, to why they have a time variance authority, because clearly there's something that needs to be maintained with that. Maybe he was wrong, maybe that's what he thought. Maybe. And they're gonna show him and be like, are you an idiot? Like... Yeah. It's like no time travel is very fucking risky. <laughs> it is. Well, just I mean, do what you want with it. You can't. Yeah, you cannot just do whatever the hell you want. It's literally just f Jesus. And it comes out in May, which is the furthest away. Which uh, that's expected. I mean, this probably is like the most expensive and probably the most. Uh, oh, like, it looks like it would be. Like, yeah, definitely had the most action scenes. And also, set also pieces that I could tell from the trailer. Come on. 
Someone pointed this out. Uh, yeah. Right there. You know what that is? Do you see it? Right there in the background? Someone pointed I it out. I see the arcade cabinet. I can't tell what it says on it. It's that. supposed to be Polybius. Polybius oh. is... Oh! Yeah. Yeah, like the mythical mm-hmm. like game? Oh, shit. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Little references like that as well. Like, I... I did. It didn't. I didn't catch it at first, but then someone. I, I saw a video like that was recommended, like on a recommended right after this video was over, and I'm like, is that really in there? Like, and I rewinded to there, and lo and behold, I was just looking because my eyesight's bad. I was like, does it say full years? Fully, poly, yeah, polybius. No, which that's awesome. Once you said the name, I was like, oh yeah, I remember reading about that. It's yeah, like a creepy pasta or something. Yeah, supposedly the uh, either a creepy pasta or just an urban legend. Like yeah, supposedly used to determine you know who was like super intelligent, and if you won, you know they took you away mm-hmm. and all that shit. I love I love stuff like that. Anyway, um, yeah, our timer ran out, so we're gonna move on from here. This was Loki. I'm uh, super stoked about this one. For I am sure. too. It comes out in May next year, so we're probably going to get more announcements and see more stuff from this. I want to see it. And I guess that's going to do it for now. So until then, I'm Nate. I am Nick. We'll see you then, everybody. Peace out. <laughs>